So if you join in any kind of the supporting project, so there are the two types of roles are there. The first one is the CR consultant. The second one is the support project team member. Okay, so that name is called support consultant. So in support project, there is there are a Sorry, this is not R, this is a CR. So if you join in any support, there are two types of works are there. One is a, as a CR consultant, you have to do that work. And as a supporting consultant, we have to do this work. Along with this work, we have to, we have to do participation in month-end activities and year-end activities also. We have a separate session for that. What are the month-end activities? What FI consultant will do in month-end activities? So I will explain one by one. So first I will start with the, support consultant next uh, we will go with that cr consultant okay so first one is a support consultant i will give some brief uh, text about this So done guys. Done. Yes, sir. Okay. So the first we're going to start with support consultant. So support consultant means what we will do mainly. So as a support consultant, we have to resolve the day-to-day -day errors which we are received, which are received. Sorry, this is R, which are received from the end user side. Okay, so the first step is the main major work is that we have to resolve the issues which are received from the end user side. So which kind of errors? There is one more note is there. In SAP support project, always we will receive transactional errors only. We will never get the configurational errors. I think I already have given a brief discussion about what is a transactional errors and what is a configurational error. Uh, just uh, see this one. In a B60, I'm trying to pass one invoice. Okay, so you can see my SAP screen, right? Yes. Suppose yes, this sir. is a, uh, as an end user, I'm passing one entry. Okay, so now I'm trying to save this document. I'm trying to post this document. Here, uh, there is no, so there is some errors are there. Okay, so I'm unable to pass this entry because there is some data issues. Can anyone tell me this is that the configurational error or is transactional error? Transactional error. Transactional error. Yeah, because uh, better I will give the first explanation about this uh, configurational errors also. So it's very helpful to remember. So first one, I will give the definition. What is meant by configurational error?
Dan guys. Dan we should. Uh. Okay, so guys, it is a very very important to understand what kind of errors we are going to get in supporting project in implementation project. Okay, in implementation project, always we will get the configurational errors. I think everyone will get this kind of errors when they are trying to create the company. Suppose if you are trying to create the some company company code, so we will get some kind of error. This is a just example. I have given some number entries is missing. Controlling area is not assigned to company. These kind of errors are called configurational errors. These errors will come only in implementation project only. So hope everyone having some aware of, about this kind of errors. The next one is the most important is a transactional errors. So transactional errors, it will comes only in the support project only, okay? So when we will get this kind of errors, when end user trying to pass the day-to-day -day entries, here I'm trying to pass one entry. So here I'm trying to post one FB16 invoices. That time I'm getting some error. Error is, this is a small error. Suppose uh, here I forget to give the profit center. Okay. Okay, I will show that. Okay, there I forget to give the profit center. So that's why it is showing some error. So this is called, I mean, these kind of errors are called transactional errors. Transactional error means this is a data issue. So suppose I am failed, I failed to give some uh, amount some business area. So that time system will not allow you to post the transactions. End user, I mean, these are the simple errors, but in real time, don't expect you can get this kind of simple errors. Okay, real time errors are entirely different. So so hope now you got some idea what is meant by it, the configurational errors and what are the transactional errors. Is this clear, guys? What is the configurational errors and when you will get the transactional errors? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, so now here I'm not giving any example for that uh, real-time transaction error. So one by one, I will give that example and I will give... Uh, so first I will tell you in how in interview what kind of questions they will ask based on that we will start our uh, work so in interview so if they ask I mean surely they will ask one question so what are the recent errors which you are resolved okay so that time we have to tell at least minimum three to four errors which you have resolved recently okay uh I think every time I'm losing, losing some common errors, so tolerance errors, these are the common error, errors in SAP. So along with that common errors, we have to say some, some kind of complicated errors also we have to explain. We have to explain two things. What is the error and how you resolve the error? These two things you, we, ha you, we have to explain to the interviewer, okay? So this is a confirmed question in any, any interview. I mean, mostly if there is any supporting project or implementation project, they will check your knowledge on errors, how you resolve the error. So one by one error I will give. So here I want to tell you one more thing, guys. Transactional errors means at the time of passing the day to end entries. So passing the day to entries means here I'm passing that FB60, FB70, MIR. These are, I mean, not only this kind of uh, errors. So end user will do the reconciliations. Reconciliation means D GL reconciliation. Here I'm taking that GL balance, right? So when they are trying to match the GL balance with that balance sheet, trail balance, they will get some errors. So that kind of errors also we have to resolve. Okay. Just Remember one thing, errors means not only at the time of passing that invoices, at the time of doing that reconciliations, at the time of preparing that month end activities, year end activity, activities. So this, whenever that guy will get the problem, that is called error only, okay? Don't think that always we will get the errors at the time of posting only. At the time of posting, we will get less, less errors, okay? Only the main error is a tolerance error only we will get. Apart from that, uh, other time of posting, mostly we will never get the error. So we will discuss some errors so in next session. So, so hope you guys having some idea. So what is the configurational errors and uh, what is the transactional errors? Clear, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes sir. Yes. Okay, so first uh, I have, I will, we will go with one by one error. 